hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today we will be solving lead code weekly contest 376 problem 2966 divide arrays array into arrays with max reference okay now pause the video read the question then we will proceed okay. so the question says we will be given an array nums of size n and a positive integer k now we have to divide this array nums into an sub array of size 3 such that each element should be exactly in one of this array or one of the sub array and the difference between any two element inside one sub array should not be greater than k or that it should be less than or equal to this k okay now we have to return a 2d array that is nothing but an array containing those sub arrays okay if it is possible to divide them according to this condition else we have to return an empty array okay cool so now the question is very straightforward that we will be given an array so we will be given an array right we will have to given an array now we have to split this into size of three and yeah it is also given that we will all we can also uh, safely assume that n is a multiple of three so we can always assume that we will be able to divide in the group of three okay now what the another condition says that each element should be in one array okay that's fine and another condition is the difference between any two elements in the array should not be greater than k okay so let's say if out of all these array let's say there were so many elements we selected any three random elements okay so if we select any three random elements okay this is the first element let's say a b c and uh, as per our condition a minus b should be less than equal to k Similarly, B minus C should be less than or equal to K. And if you will see the difference, the difference, it is not written that the positive or negative. So we will take this as absolute difference because we can always reverse the order, right? Like if you won't take absolute difference, we can say that, okay, take C as the first element and B as the second element. So it's more like the absolute difference. Okay. So now, now let's say if we have if we have six number one two three six nine ten now now the question says that if we'll take any two numbers if we'll take any two numbers the difference should be less than or equal to k so let's say if we'll select one number from this group one over here and say let's say another number is also from this group and let's say if we combine this ten so this will become one group and this three six nine will become another group so you will realize that this difference this difference will be great. and if we'll have k let's say 6 so here difference will be nothing but 10 minus 1 that is equals to 9 which is greater than 6 so what we realized over here is if we want if we want that the difference difference should be minimum or to keep the difference minimum what we'll do we'll always take this one and this three because that will give the that will give me the smallest are uh, like if we'll choose this group the worst case we can choose is this one and this three and the in worst case scenario we'll have difference two right same goes for this one so if we have numbers if we have numbers like one two three four five six anything so it's always better what to do is to choose first three numbers then again next three numbers and then next three numbers why because because we know that this difference will always be you know greater than uh, sorry will be less than equal to this difference if this was d1 this is d2 and if we'll choose let's say one and five we know that this difference this difference is d3 then we always know that that d1 should will always be less than equal to d2 will always be less than equal to d3 and so on so and and in worst case in worst case d1 can also be greater than k if d1 is greater than k that means all of them will be greater than k but it may be possible that d1 is less than equal to k but d2 and d3 are greater than equal to k so in that scenario if we want to have our answer the best thing we should do is to choose the groups or choose a group of three elements such that they are as close to each other as possible okay so what we'll do we'll first just sort the elements and now there can be one scenario right let's say it if it uh, uh, if 4 is here and 15 over here so and another el greater elements over here so here worst case or like in the best case also we have difference lab and if k is 
less than or equal to 11, we can simply return empty array. But if not, then our best possibility is just to take these two three elements, then these three elements. Why? Because in this scenario, we'll choose this first element and this element, and the difference will be this much itself. And here, in worst case, we can choose this element and this element, and the difference will be this element or uh, this much. Okay. So I hope you have got the intuition. Now it will come to code. What we did, we just sorted the array. Okay, now we created a vector of vector int because that's what we need to return. And as it is sorted, we'll just pick three elements, we'll check them. And if they are possible, we will just push them into answer. And if at any point, if at any point it is not possible, then we can simply return an empty array. Okay, so we are just checking if nums of i plus 2 minus nums of i. And if we'll see why nums of i plus 2, so we, we have sorted like this, like so if i is here i plus 1 is this one and i plus 2 is this one so as we are always always considering these three elements and again then we'll consider these three elements we know that this will be the greatest and this will be the smallest why because we have already sorted this in ascending order that's why if the difference between these two numbers satisfy then we know that the difference between these two or these two will always satisfy the our condition okay that's why we checked and if that condition is not satisfied that means we'll have at least one one sub array one sub array or like one array of size three in which the r condition is getting failed and we can simply return an empty array else we can push those three elements as a vector in this answer vector and we can finally return our answer okay let's submit the solution and see okay yeah it's accepted solution yeah, I hope this would be clear to you. But if you guys have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Okay, thank you. See you in the next video.